Na nama večeras je Trina Binaku, ona nam dolazi iz Prištine, sa Kosova, iz kolektiva za feminističko mišljenje i akciju. Meni je jako žao što ja na Trinino maternjem albanskom jeziku znam da kažem samo par reči i ja ću ih reći večeras. Mir Brama and Fali Minderit. Trina će nastaviti na engleskom, ona će nam predstaviti rad svog kolektiva. Yes, thank you for having me um, and uh, organizing such an event. Uh, as you, I assume you said that I'm Trina Vinaku and I come from the uh, Collective for Feminist Thought and Action, a collective based in uh, Pristina in Kosovo, uh, which was formed fairly recently, but nonetheless, uh, for me at least, doing a very important work and uh, um, activism in, in, in Kosovo. Uh, as, as the name suggests, we are a collective which is formed based on feminist values in terms of both fe uh, feminist theory but also uh, feminist praxis. Um, we are um, founded on sort of the principle of intersectionality and we mostly uh, focus on um, sort of producing a discourse uh, that tackles uh, issues uh, of, of, uh, um, of um, violence against women, um, um, in, in that sense, gender inequality, but also other forms of discrimination and oppression, such as class, uh, race, uh, sexual identity, and other forms of uh, oppression that um, exist, of course, everywhere in the world, but uh, specifically with the, uh, within Kosovo. Um, what we do and we try to sort of push forward is uh, uh, a feminist articulation that also, um, it's not only feminism, but it's, it's, al it's also part of the, um, as part of the, theory of, or, or leftist theory, I, I would say. So uh, uh, um, uh, a pro product of these two sort of uh, thoughts or, 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 or ideas uh, in the context of Kosovo. Uh, we are mostly sort of known for uh, our graffitis that we do in most of, of cities in, in Kosovo. Uh, what we are trying to do is decentralize the idea of act activism from Pristina, which um, has been definitely initiated by other uh, uh, activists as well, but uh, we uh, um, cooperate with them in specific cities and, uh, and uh, do graffitis around town that uh, tackle local issues of, of, of uh, uh, gendered uh, oppression, but also, uh, of course, uh, in terms of uh, an international uh, level. Uh, behind me, we have one from the city of Ustri, which says, unwaste uh, a work of women um, upholds the state, which is something that we always try to bring in, in, in discussions uh, about um, women and, uh, and, and in terms of, of, uh, of uh, uh, discussions of, about feminism, we uh, are uh, trying to um, bring this topic, which is fairly undiscussed, uh, which is unwaged work of, of women, um, specifically within households, something that uh, Silvia Federici has uh, written about and has advocated for. Uh, and we want to say that the work that women do within the house in terms of taking, ch taking care of children, raising children, cleaning, and all, all of the things that um, sort of all are the physical work, but also the emotional labor that goes with it uh, is work and should be considered at work uh, in, in, as a sort of midterm solution be paid for, but as a final solution to abolish the idea that household work is for women, which is something I believe that 
exist in Serbia as well, um, since um, we both are dealing with deeply rooted patriarchal uh, societies that uh, perceive women sort of a lesser citizen and, and, and in some ways. Apart from that, we are, um, and I, I saw the presentation from the other organizations and what I could understand because I don't understand very well Serbian, but femicide is also something that Serbia and I think Montenegro, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which I, I mean, I'm not surprised is one of the epidemics of our time that uh, no one is speaking of. And we are, again, trying to treat femicide or trying to make our government treat femicide as a national emergency. Uh, definitely, uh, it has not been treated as such, both in terms of uh, not um, offering women any kind of security, uh, reproducing patriarchal values that um, uh, creates this kind of violence uh, and uh, it, it escalates sort of in, in femicide, but also in, in uh, punishing the people, which are mostly men, uh, that do this, uh, do this kind of crime and uh, not treating it as a historical, uh, as a product of historical oppression against women. Uh, treating it as a isolated case, some mad man who is very jealous killed his woman uh, or wife or girlfriend, partner, whatever, and not as a deeply rooted uh, patriarchal crime, and uh, not treating it as a crime that was specifically done to that woman because she is a woman. Uh, and um, this is... <laughs> Um, obviously not happening in Kosovo in terms of the state not reacting in, 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 in doing um, its job in, in sort of not protecting because <laughs> that sounds, a, a, a puts women in a submissive position but uh, doing sort of its job and what uh, um, the taxes that they get from women to, to do its job. Um, so in that sense, we are trying to have this as a as a as a discourse as well, um, and well, we have police coming. <laughs> uh, sort of the police comes into into play when we think about violence against women because it is quite funny to us that apart from the graffiti's and the protests that we do, we also do a lot of feminist uh, reading readings, uh, and uh, sometimes the police come to those readings um, for apparently, uh, and allegedly for to keep us safe from our books, <laughs> but um, we know this is not the case. Um, I, I believe that they're sort of, um, how to say it, interested very much in our actions uh, rather than being interested in uh, sort of arresting people who uh, commit um, different types of crimes against women, including sexual harassment and other stuff, uh, which uh, gives us an impression that um, the state itself as an apparatus, as a patriarchal mechanism, is mostly interested in controlling feminist action rather than um, protecting protecting uh, women. Uh, so in that sense, we are dealing with a lot of things. Um, and uh, it is uh, uh, a work that I and the collective that I um, am part of really believe in and uh, are sort of working tirelessly to bring forward uh, uh, um, these issues and not let them be sort of marginalized and pushed aside by bigger problems. So, yes, that's sort of what I wanted to say. Um, I don't think I, that I have anything else to add. But uh, if someone has any question or something to say, feel free.
Ima li neko neko pitanje za Trinu? Ili može da nastavi? Maybe you can continue. Maybe because there are no questions. No questions, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of aware that maybe it's a new thing for a lot of people here uh, to hear about this or, but uh, I am sure that it is maybe a similar situation in Serbia as well, as far as I can, could read and tell. And, uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, maybe I uh, could uh, ask you something uh, about, uh, uh, maybe you can uh, tell us uh, uh, how is the position of a woman who survived uh, rape crimes in, during the Kosovo war? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's a very uh, complex situation, I must say. Uh, well, f first, first and foremost, um, the recognition of uh, survivors of sexual vi violence during, during the war was uh, done quite late. It was only done in 2015, with a lot of backlash from, at that time, male and some uh, woman deputies in the parliament of Kosovo, uh, and which again showed us how patriarchal the state itself is when we have um, tons and tons of men who are recognized as veterans and warriors without offering any proof. Uh, but uh, these women are not uh, perceived as uh, women, first of all, as, 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 as a person to, to uh, um, receive any kind of state support. Uh, and apart from that, when the law for recognition and reparations uh, for survivors of sexual violence during the war passed, it followed again with uh, bureaucratic um, and uh, misogynistic procedures that a lot of women have had to go through. Some have had the luck to be able to really give proof of what happened to them. But for some, of course, since it's been quite a long time ago, and um, you cannot really have proof. You did not have um, people around you or, I don't know, any kind of material proof to really prove that it happened. You just have your words and your story and maybe some other facts that could contribute to, to that. And what has happened is that a lot of them were, were uh, pressured into uh, sort of uh, giving up on, on, on this reparation because of the fact that they believe that in the long run they would not have their story uh, uh, um, um, sort of accepted by the institutions. So a lot of them have withdrawn from this process. As I said, some have had the chance to, to receive this retribution. It's again a very small symbolic fee that for some it might play a big role, but in, in uh, overall the trauma that they've experienced cannot amount to anything really, but uh, nonetheless it's a important support. And I believe that with the work of some women activists, um, the stigma around rape survivors during the war has been somewhat lifted. Of course, uh, not, not entirely, but I believe that the situation now in terms of uh, accepting survivors of rape uh, um, from the war is much more positive than it was before 2015, let's say because, of course, uh, um, women were not speaking out. Um, those that would speak out would be sort of uh, kicked out of their families, maybe, and uh, other forms of, 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 uh, uh, of exclusion. Uh, and I do believe that it still happens, but maybe not in, in, in those larger numbers that was happening uh, before. This is just my personal sort of assessment, not that I have concrete facts, uh, but uh, overall I think that the situation is very 
dire as for most women in Kosovo, but specifically for these for these women, um, uh, the trauma, the the the, uh, the lack of support, and uh, and the uh, patriarchal values that exist in our society that once you are raped and raped by what is conceived the enemy, you are no longer sort of pure or you are spoiled in, in some ways, which is very, very hard to live with, especially if you yourself believe that that, that is the case. Um, so in general, it is very, very um, problematic, I would say. And this also includes men that were survivors of sexual violence, which is something that, um, of course, we we don't talk about, but also um, pe men do not speak of because, uh, again, this uh, idea of of of, uh, of uh, shame behind being raped, which, um, of course, it is uh, without any discussion that rape uh, sort of is not the victim's fault, but only the perpetrator uh, who who does it. You're welcome. I cannot see anyone. <laughs> Me too. Ima li neko pitanje ili komentar za Trinu? Okay, izvoli. Okay, uh, I would like to ask, you said about uh, how family and friends accept uh, rape victims. Do you have any programs focused to uh, support them, to understand, to accept, to help victims? As I understood, you're working with the women, but also you work with the local community and what kind of activities you have towards this. Thank you. Yes, uh, as a collective, we don't work with uh, and we don't have actually programs in, in for this specific issue. Um, there's a lot of other NGOs in Kosovo that really do amazing work and has been the main support system for these women. Without these NGOs, I believe that uh, they would be in uh, in different situations that they are. But as a collective, we. Um, even uh, um, I, I would not say that we deal with it as a specific, but uh, we certainly um, are willing to support any any kind of activity that deals with survivors of sexual violence, but we don't have any programs. We are not, let's say, uh, an NGO or, or an organization that has projects. We are uh, a non-formal uh, collective that uh, um, uh, works uh, autonomously and doesn't really uh, have some sort of, uh, let's say, program or, or, or sort of an agenda as unusual uh, NGOs do in Kosovo. So in that sense. Uh, sorry, I have one <laughs> more question because you said like non-formal activist and in Serbia we can see there's this rising right wing uh, activist and you know, like they call themselves activists. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have uh, often, you know, are you being uh, on attacks and how you deal with this because you don't have, let's say, formal support because we, we, we are in organization and it's, let's say, easier because organizations usually have lawyers to protect, but as non-formal group, uh, how you deal with this question? Mm. Uh, we certainly get harsh comments and, and messages, but up till now we haven't had any kind of Sort of physical uh, attack or you know verbal assault or any kind of thing. Uh, the police are the ones that <laughs> really uh, circle us and 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 approach us uh, that um, have been hostile, let's say. Uh, but uh, in general, we 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 haven't had any any case yet, um, and uh, if we do, then. I don't know how we would handle it, 
but uh, maybe um, the context is, is, is a bit different, I would say, in terms of right-wing groups in Kosovo than in Serbia. Uh, to my knowledge, I mean, we have some sort of groups that are, you know, these uh, 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 fans of football or, or basketball, but uh, not necessarily ide ideologically right-wing or, you know, a, a formal group that uh, uh, um, pushes forward fascist or right-wing ideologies. Hi. Uh, I am Natasha um, from Serbia. Uh, I'm just thinking um, wh what kind of tools, I'm not sure I understood, uh, um, so how you do your fight apart of graffitis and readings, do you do any institutional battle such as initiative for changing laws or, or you just think about it at least, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can say something more about it. And another thing that I'm really curious about, because in Serbia we have specific situation talking about deeply rooted uh, uh, patriarchal values, let's say. For example, talking about uh, gender sensitive language, we have a women uh, preferring to keep male form of, of uh, their um, working title mm -hmm. or however. So what I'm trying to say, do you perceive, do you feel that uh, your ideas, your values are accepted and perceived uh, among women in Kosovo or not? Or, I mean, which, um, if we talk about it, can you just explain a little bit more? Thank you. Yes, um, thank you. Uh, in regards to the first question, uh, I mentioned in the beginning that we also follow uh, leftist values of action and, and, and theory as well. So in that, in that sense, we try to, um, and being aware of the uh, role of the institutions in upkeeping these patriarchal values, we are uh, sometimes hesitant to work with the institution because we know that themselves, they are the ones that uh, protect and reproduce these values. So working with them would make no change uh, as we can see up till now. We've had so many uh, NGOs that work with institutions, produce laws and every imaginable thing that you would think to uh, uh, better the situation of women. And as we, you can see, the situation is uh, again very, very, uh, um, very bad. Uh, so that tells you uh, uh, a fact or a, a very important uh, story that institutions are not interested and uh, to, for them to um, be against patriarchal values, it would mean that they would be against their own roots, sort of. Uh, so uh, we try not to work sort of and, 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 and engage institutions as much but we sometimes uh, speak and have discussions uh, when we have, for example, when we had a protest in regards to uh, this uh, girl who was assaulted in her, her school. Uh, we had a, held a protest in front of the Ministry of Education and our sort of um, request was to include sexual education in the, in the formal uh, uh, system of education and uh, we were called to the office of, of the minister, deputy minister. And uh, well, I mean, we sort of had a discussion that we, and, and presented our request to them and uh, we're, we're pushing into having this request really taken into consideration. That would be the one thing that we, we, we do with uh, institutions at the moment. But as a principle, uh, we uh, believe that the real struggle and the real change really comes from, um, from fighting the institutions uh, itself. Uh, and as for your second question, um, it is true that also women uh, reproduce these patriarchal values that uh, we've been talking about. And uh, it's uh, uh, an issue 
in itself. Uh, I am not sure about this discussion with the male pronouns that you mentioned, but uh, in terms of the support that we get, we do have, of course, more support from, from women for our, for our um, activity and actions. Uh, and of course, there are some that do not agree with the, the in, the, in the sense that they are too radical, too, too, uh, um, too harsh. Uh, maybe they do support the idea of, uh, of, uh, of uh, let's say, uh, working in, in, in bettering the women's position in society, but not the ways that we do it because they're too harsh and we should do it in a nice and polite manner, which, um, as I said, we've been doing for quite a while, and I think it's time that we understand that that is not going to work, uh, and really try to find new ways and and uh, work in different uh, uh, ways of organizing ourselves to demand uh, what is what is right. <laughs>